Good morning, everybody. So, um, another African American artist that I want to teach you about is Alma Thomas, and um, she makes these abstract artworks inspired by landscapes and flowers, and they really focus on um, colors, so they don't quite always look exactly like landscapes or flowers. Um, I'll show you some examples here. So as you can see, if you kind of look at the paintings with vertical lines, you can start to see a landscape forming. Um, and you know, a circle shape can remind you of a flower, but overall her work is really abstract and it focuses a lot on just the beauty of color and how we see color and how the world gives us color. Um, so I'm just gonna make a very simple um, circle painting in her style with watercolor paint. Now you can do this with watercolor paint or temper paint. Um, any kind of materials that you have at home is fine. Um, you could even use markers if you use kind of, she just uses these like rectangle as you saw, um, these rectangle strokes of color, like these little blocks. Hers are actually quite a bit closer than mine, but I was a little nervous to, um, get the water too close because I didn't want it to um, smear together. So I've just got a blank white paper and I've got watercolor. I found a great use for some of my baby food jars. And I decided to start with yellow in the center. Um, kind of reminds me of flowers. And so I'm just going to make that little rectangle line or rectangles of shape. <laughs> I'm going to make a rectangle shape with my brush. And then I'm going to go to orange. And I want the color to be vibrant, so I'm going to try to get closer here. Um, not use too much water. Oh, I touched him right there. And make sure that I can really see that, that orange. So now I get to just continue building, building it out. Um, you can go in any color order. You could even do a color pattern. You don't have to use all the colors like, like I did. Um, it's totally up to you on, on how you might, maybe you'd rather go in rainbow order. Um, I kind of liked the look of starting with yellow and doing those warm colors and then transitioning to the cool colors with this watercolor palette has like a cool purple or well I guess it'd be magenta. <laughs> so I like using that as kind of a transition from red to purple. So I'm just going to continue with my brush making these thick short lines that look like rectangles. And I almost feel like this form of art is kind of like relaxing and there's really not a wrong way to do it. So if you would rather make one um, similar to Thomas's um, like landscapes like if you'd rather yours resemble a landscape and you can just do vertical lines across your page that's also um, would look wonderful I'm trying to get these ones a little closer together this time um, so our art lessons are kind of coming to an end I'm gonna have one more art lesson this week another african-american artist and then I'm going to um, give one last optional project that I think would be really fun on Monday. And if you choose to do it, that's great. Um, it's optional as all of these have been, but I think maybe you would enjoy it and it would be something kind of fun. Um, 
And then in terms of art, we are done for the year. So the art show is going to be published tomorrow evening so that you can you can see that online. Be careful. Um, and it's definitely not the same to not be able to all be together in person, but I'm grateful to, to be able to make an art show that still shows off all the wonderful work you guys have done. I'm just continuing my lines here. This blue looks really similar, but it's actually like a bluish green. I think it's because I really didn't use, I didn't dip in the water, I just dipped right into the paint, so it, over here it's very dark. So this is a great lesson um, to do with some younger students. I, um, actually the other art lesson by Faith Ringgold is also great for younger kiddos. Um, but this one's a little less um, challenging in terms of drawing because you're just kind of having fun with paint and making uh, brush strokes. And I mean, if you wanted to, you could fill up this whole paper. I'm gonna just do one more color finish off with with green um, if you make an art piece inspired by Alma Thomas I would love to see it um, as always seeing your artwork is the best part of my job so that I am that's been the hardest thing is not being able to to help you and see what you're doing as you make it so I'm looking forward to September and being back in the classroom. Okay, so this is my art piece inspired by Alma Thomas. Um, and if you want to see some more of her artwork, you're welcome to look it up. And um, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Have a great day.